Welcome back to our iMonitor tutorial video series. In this video, we will explore the different ways to create a field and define the field boundaries to later get the maximum functionality of the guidance system. The different ways to create and edit fields can be found in the field menu. There you will also find the field creation button under the field selection. Once selected, you can enter the record management, client name, farm name and the field name there. Confirm them and a new field will be loaded. Let's now take a closer look at the creation of the field boundary. In general, there are three ways to create them in iMonitor. The first option is to record the boundary manually. For this purpose, the recording point can be moved flexible if necessary. Before you start recording the boundary, go to the Boundary Offset menu. The recording point is now displayed and you can make settings in the new window. Define whether the recording is to be made to the left or to the right of the implement. You can also determine whether the recording is to be made at the front or at the rear of the implement or at the coupling point of the vehicle. Additionally, you have the possibility to move the point horizontally or vertically. After confirmation, the window closes and you can start recording. To do this, open the field menu again and activate the boundary recording. After activation, you permanently record boundary at the predefined recording point. However, if you want to link the recording to the coverage, you can activate this function under Setup, User and Map. In any case, make sure that the recording line matches the real field boundary when it's bypassed. You can pause the recording to go around obstacles or to record corners. As soon as you are near the starting point again, stop recording. The recorded boundary, which is displayed as a conscious blue line, will be closed automatically. The second option is to create the field boundary based on the coverage. Even before you end a completed job, you can create a field boundary based on coverage. In the following menu, you have several customization options. For example, if there is a forest or a lake in your field, you can have the iMonitor take this excluded area into account during automatically boundary creation. Thanks to active exclusion areas, an inner boundary is also created. The third option is to import the field boundary. In our example, we show the import of a so-called shape file. Create a file, insert the USB stick and use the import in the field menu. You can select the appropriate file and upload it. This concludes our tutorial video on creating field boundaries. Discover also our other videos to learn useful tips and tricks about the iMonitor.